Hey there everyone, welcome back to another video here in my 25 days of Christmas video series. Today we're going to be doing some quick and easy coloring to create a card. You can use any medium you want for quick and easy coloring. It doesn't have to be all graphic and detailed and shading and all this stuff. Today I'm using the Nuvo Aquaflow pens. I don't know what has taken me so long to use these. I'm using one of the stamp sets from the Hedgehog Hollow November box from Kidron Stamps. And I'm first going to go ahead and ink this up with a waterproof ink. So I'm using this Gina K ink, also new to me. Uh, let's see, what's it called? It's, I don't even know how to say, Almagram, Almagam, Amalgam, Almagam. I don't know, ink. I'll link it <laughs> below. And then I'm going to go in and add a couple of little doodads here and there from the stamp set to dress up my gingerbread house. <laughs> I'm stamping this all with the black ink because I'm going to do watercoloring here. Now, I didn't use my Misty, so of course I didn't stamp everything perfectly, so I'm grabbing a Copic Multiliner, also waterproof, to fill in the little areas that I didn't stamp well and no one will ever know. And then I'm going to fussy cut this out. I'm not the best cutter, so I always go along the outline of my cut images with a marker. So any parts that I didn't cut perfectly where the white line is still showing, you won't know. So here I am going with some aqua flow markers. Now the paper I'm using is a media paper, um, which is good for all kinds of things like watercolor markering, that's not a word, watercoloring, using markers, etc. Watercolor paper will be best or a specific paper that works well with water will be best when using these aqua flow pens because they are gonna put out a lot of liquid. So I went in and went around the outline of the gingerbread house and then I'm going in with a water brush pen that's filled with just clean, good old fashioned water. But you know, you could also blend this with some sparkle water, like make your own perfect pearls by adding some powder into uh, some water and adding that into one of your water brushes to really give it some shine. But the Aqua Flo the Nuvo also has a clear overlay pen, which I'm going to use here in just a few minutes. So here I am going in and again, just adding the color first and then going in and blending it out with that pen. I'm also grabbing some color from that door to put it around the frames of the windows. <laughs> I cheated, I didn't feel like creating a little palette. So why not just grab a little from the door? It was still wet, why not? So then I'm just gonna go in and finish this off. Now, if I look at this, it kind of looks like my house has a face. You've got the two eyeballs, the dimples are the window, and then the door with the little doorknob is the mouth. Or not, I don't know. Get a eat some coffee. <laughs> so first I'm gonna go in with one of the lighter color uh, aqua, but now these, these aqua flow pens come in a range of color and they're sold by packs. So I have a bunch of different packs combined. I'm just pulling colors that I like. That's basically the bottom line here. <laughs> and I'm going to go in and make sure that's blended. I can't believe how easy it was to blend these colors. If I had tried this actually and filmed um, and deleted with Copic markers, and I said forget that because I am not a good Copic colorer. So if I use my Copics, it's usually on small areas, not on a big house like that. So that's why I always gravitate towards watercoloring because it's more forgiving and it makes me look like I know what I'm doing. Now here's the clear pen. I'm gonna go in and add it to the windows, you know, cause windows, unless they're dirty, are relatively shiny. <laughs> and that's kind of a look at that. Now I needed to add some snow. Oh, first I'm gonna deepen the green. I decided it was a little too light. So you see that big blob of ink up there at the top. That's because I had to prime my, my aqua flow pens, which you have to do uh, each time you you just once you know it's it's sealed so you just kind of prime it by squeezing it make sure you don't do it over your project because that happens sometimes little blobs of of color fall out <laughs> so here is the nouveau glitter accents from it's called snowfall and that's what i'm using to add snow to the edge of the house to the top of the chimney and also to the bottom of those windows there and that really adds some fun glittery texture to the card this is also glitter accents. This came, this particular, the red, which is called Winter Cranberry, came in the November Hedgehog Hollow Box as well. Sometimes when you're using the Nouveau Drops, you get little peaks like this. So all I do to get rid of that peak is I just kind of whack it on my, my work surface there and it just flattens it right out. So if you have that problem, give it a good whackety whack and everything will flatten out. I finished off the card by stamping uh, background stamp from Catherine Puller called Peppermint Stick Background with some Samba ink and then I adhered the gingerbread house 
with some foam dimension and the sentiment strip is also from that same stamp set that we used at the beginning of the video. So very easy to do, very easy to pull together and very easy coloring. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is day 10 of my series, so I've got 15 more videos to go. I'm linking here to a playlist which contains all of the videos in it as they published. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.